can show this to you. Hey guys, we are trying out pastries from 85 degree Celsius bakery. We went to 85C, which is a popular international Taiwanese bakery chain with over a thousand stores worldwide. They have a wide selection of freshly made pastries and drinks with a signature self-service style of choosing your favorite items. Jeff, what do we have here today? We've got egg tarts, Aussie meat pie, bread, Hawaiian chicken, wheat mushroom, and two of the marble taro, jumbo guava, mango tail, matcha choco bun, normal choco bun, milk pudding, elote, we went to the South Center location, which is in Washington State, and they have a whole selection of delicious pastries, both savory and sweet. We are about to try these pastries and let you guys know what we think. We have here the taro bread. It's right? really heavy too for yeah. a pastry. It's as big as my hand. On the inside. Wow. There's a lot of taro filling in here. For those of you who are not familiar with the taste of taro, it's like a sweet potato, but not really. The crust is very flaky. It's very chewy and it's actually a very subtle taste. Yeah, she, something I didn't notice before was um, there's like grains and seeds in the, the bread. Multi-grain, I it guess. It's multi-grain. So it's healthy. The flavor is kind of mild like ube. Okay, so the next one, the mango tail. Mango tail. The filling is mango custard, what it looks like, but the outside, there was like a little piece of mango jam here. Oh, it looks like I got it. <laughs> a little tart, right? It's cheesy. It's a cheat. It is cheese. Is it cream cheese? It's no, not it's actually cream. mango? No. I actually don't taste any mango in this at all. <laughs> no, I think it tricked me. I thought, I thought maybe this was mango. It's really good. It's more cakey. That mango thing in the center. I didn't mm -hmm. even taste it. Mango tail is not very mango-y, but if you <laughs> if you like cheese or cream cheese, I think you would enjoy it. Next one, this is a recommendation. The choco bun. There is some chocolate filling on the inside. Maybe just cream. Oh. oh. Fudge on the inside? I mean, that, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Right? It's pretty subtle. It's not as sweet as a chocolate pastry would taste. Ooh, kind of reminds me of like the Hershey. Syrup? Hershey spread. When you were a kid, did you ever get those, um, there, there was like a penguin cartoon on these, almost like TV dinners, microwavable lunches, and sometimes it would come with a brownie dessert in the middle of it. Wait, That's what it tastes like. Mm. It's like a gooey brownie. Switch things up. We're gonna try Hawaiian chicken. Actually reminds me of the Domino's Hawaiian pizza. Cause it has it has pineapple on it with some I feel like chicken breast or something. And it's like a personal pizza, deep dish. Okay, maybe we should have heated this one. <laughs> Tastes like a pizza. I've actually had this a couple times, and every single time hits the spot. So for all my savory people, it'd be a, a good one to try. The chunks of chicken are actually pretty big. All right, we're gonna move on. Oh, you're not done. Oh, we can move on. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna cleanse the palate. Oh. I finished my coffee already. Let me do this one. Oh, cheese and guava pastry was recommended when I did my poll. And we're gonna try this out. I don't see the cheese, but. Wow, this guava is nice and pink. It's cute. This very flaky pastry. Do you taste the guava? I taste, taste fruit. <laughs> I taste just strudel. I usually don't go for like flaky crust just because it gets everywhere. I like it. It's a very mild flavor. Maybe the filling is not as generous as some of the other ones. Yeah, definitely. So it's harder to get a good feel for it. Let's try the corn one. We're gonna try this corn pastry. Mexican, right? Yeah, um, it's the seasoning so it's like, that's put yeah. on roast corn. It's gonna be messy. Do you want a knife? I'm already committed, so. I'm just gonna go for it. They really loaded this up with corn. I can taste the butter. Mm, yeah, you're right, it's very buttery. All the corn is falling out. <laughs> I have so much oil. It's very heavy. I'm gonna try this Aussie pie. Have you had meat pies before? No, I haven't. Wow. The meat is nice and spiced. It's more of the chewy consistency. What kind of meat is this? I bet it's pork. Could be. Mm, overly spicy. Sweet one. 
This is the milky bun. Inside, I believe there's probably like a milky custard. It's really soft. Almost a little soggy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the inside is actually filled to the brim with custard. I like the texture of this. I love this kind of light custard inside. It's just this perfect sweet bread. It's a little chewy, which I actually like. Mm -hmm. I've actually had this in China before. It's very it nostalgic. Just as good. Really? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Jeff got this matcha one that he wanted to try. Uh, matcha choco? Matcha dusted bun. Inside there is some mustard, mustard, some matcha custard. And this might be chocolate chip actually. Mm. That was melted down. Tastes a little artificial to me. Can't taste the chocolate actually. I'm having a food coma right now. 85 degree egg tart. Ooh. It's like such You're a- You're right, it is light. It is a really light and almost refreshing egg tart. I was expecting something greasy. And sometimes when you look at egg tarts, it can appear to be greasy, but this mm. one's really good. It's almost like a creme brulee. Oh wow, we're saving the best for the last. <laughs> Mushroom. I'm not the biggest fan of mushroom. However, I'm gonna give this a shot because I'm craving savory and you picked this out. I did. I actually like this one a lot. Wheat mushroom pastry. It's like there's a lot of mushroom Some here. Parsley, peas. Multi-grain bread. Mm -hmm. I think it's better if you heat it up. It took a break. Oh my gosh. I had food coma. <laughs> and we are back after the full Taste test. So let's do top three. I would have to say Hawaiian chicken, so good, savory. The taro bread, mango tail, but it's really hard to nail it down to three. I would say my top one is the taro marble bread. That's number one for me, has, has always been. Uh, number two, it's probably the egg tart. Number three, milky bun. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. A huge pastry taste test from us. If you have tried pastries from this bakery before, let us know in the comments what your favorites are. You should definitely thumbs up the video so we can do more. Any last thoughts here? No, but thank you for having me on your food journey. <laughs> yeah, you. thanks, for, thanks for joining me on this video. <laughs> I enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.